Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to study about the different type of irrigation efficiencies. So let's start. Now, when we study about the irrigation efficiency, the first term that is related to this is what is this efficiency? That should be the first question. Now for any system, the efficiency is defined as the ratio between the input and the output. So for any system, this efficiency that depends upon the input and output. Now let's say this is any system which is having certain parameters as the input. So this is the input that we have provided this IP that is representing the input and corresponding to it we have gained some output so the output that we have gained they are written as OP now if you look at the values of the input and the output there is certain difference between the values of the input and the output and this difference between the two and this difference between the two that is obtained in the form of the losses and within the system it goes around a process so that is a typical system which is dependent upon the capacity of the input and the output so for any system this efficiency that is the ratio of the output to the input and if both of them are equal that means efficiency will always be 100% but that is not the case because there are certain losses which are occurring therefore whenever we write the output therefore whenever we write the output that is written as input minus the losses now with respect to the irrigation system that we are dealing with the parameter with which we are concerned that is the water so what is the amount of water that is supplied and what is the output of that water that we are getting from the plant that ratio that is defined as the irrigation efficiency that means this irrigation efficiency that will be defined as the ratio of the that is defined as the ratio of the output water to the input water so if losses are more obviously this output value will be lesser and if this output value is lesser that means the efficiency will be lesser therefore there is one relation that we obtain between the efficiency and the losses and both of these are inversely related and both of these are inversely related to each other that means more the losses lesser will be the efficiency or lesser are the losses more will be the efficiency so if we look at a canal irrigation system so if we look at a canal irrigation system the water is diverted from the main river by constructing the barrage or the weir and that is transferred to the main canal and ultimately that is supplied to the field so that is the typical layout of the canal system now the first type of efficiency that we are going to study that is known as the efficiency of the water conveyance now what is this efficiency so if we define the water which is supplied to the main canal that means if we measure this quantity at this point at the head of the main canal and let's say that value is vi the quantity of water at the head of the main canal that is represented as vi and ultimately the water which is supplied to the field 
let's say the quantity of water that is supplied to the field that is represented by Vf. Therefore, the quantity of water supplied to field that is, is equal to Vf. So, this efficiency of water conveyance that is the ratio of the water which is delivered to the field from the outlet point to the quantity of water which is entering into the main canal at the starting point. Therefore, this efficiency of water conveyance that is represented by eta c which is the, the ratio of the water delivered to the field to the quantity of water which is entering into the main canal. So this eta c that is the ratio of Vf to Vi. Now when the water is transmitted through this canal irrigation system in that case when the water is flowing through this network and ultimately it is reaching the outlet point so this will be exposed to the open atmosphere because of which there will be certain losses and those losses are in the form of the evaporation and the percolation that means the quantity of water which will be supplied to the field that will be equal to the volume of the water or the quantity of the water which was initially entering into the canal minus these losses and since these losses are occurring when the water was conveyed therefore these losses are known as the conveyance losses or the transmission losses therefore this efficiency of water conveyance it takes into account the conveyance losses takes into account the conveyance losses. The second efficiency is the efficiency of water application. Now if we look at the last point at which the water was supplied. So this was the outlet point of the canal network and this was the quantity of water which was supplied. Now this quantity of water which was supplied that was marked as Vf that is the volume of water delivered to the field. Now if we look at this field at the cross section level so this is the ground level so this is the ground level so this is the ground level at which the crop has been grown and below it there will be the certain roots which will be present. Now when we are delivering the water onto the field so that water that is delivered onto the field that will be present here this will be the volume of water that is delivered to the field. Now out of this certain amount of water that will be going inside the earth and that water which is used by the plant that is the water stored by the plant for its growth and that is represented by the quantity of water stored by the plant. So when we look at the efficiency of the water application that is represented by eta a that is the application efficiency and that is the ratio of the quantity of water which is stored in the root zone of the plant to the quantity of water which is delivered to the field. So this Vs is the quantity of water stored in the root zone of the plant. So this will be the efficiency of the water application and if we want to calculate this value in percentage then this ratio will be multiplied with 100. Now when the water was delivered onto the field this is representing the quantity of water which is delivered. Now out of that certain quantity that was used by the plant for its growth 
and rest of the water that has washed away in the form of the runoff. Therefore, in such cases, the losses will be in the form of the runoff. Therefore, this efficiency of water application, it takes into account the runoff losses which are occurring onto the farm and therefore it is also runoff losses which are occurring on the farm and therefore it is also known as the farm efficiency because we are concerned with the land which is available on the farm the next efficiency is the efficiency of the water storage now again going at the cross-sectional level so this is the certain plant which is growing and this is the root zone of the plant so this is the root zone now, now in this root zone this is the level of the water or the quantity of water which is required so this is the volume of the water which is to be stored and that is the required amount at which it is to be stored but in actual the volume of water the quantity of water which is stored that is represented by Vs therefore this efficiency of water storage that is represented by eta s that is the ratio of the water which is stored quantity of the water which is stored in the root zone to the quantity of water which was required to be stored in the root zone and that represent the efficiency of water storage in terms of percentage value now that means that means initially we have looked at that the maximum level of the water which is to be supplied for a crop that is known as the field capacity and the level of the water which is stored at present that is that is known as the available moisture content so that means we can also say that the efficiency of the water storage is the ratio of the available moisture content to the field capacity and the difference between these two values will be present because if there is certain clogging because let's say these were the pores through which the water was seeping at the root level so if these voids are choked then the water will not be stored up to the desired quantity and because of that there will be the difference between the value of the water stored and the water which was required to be stored the next efficiency is the next efficiency is the efficiency of water use now that is represented by eta u now again looking at the cross section of the crop this is the plant and this is the root level now at this root level we have supplied the certain amount of water which was stored into the root zone of the plant that is represented by Vs. So this is the quantity of water which is stored in the root zone of the plant. Now out of that water which is stored in the root zone of the plant there will be certain amount of water which will be used by the plant for its growth purpose. So let's say that amount of water this is this is represented by vu which is representing the quantity of water used by the crop for its growth purpose so the ratio of the quantity of water which is used by the plant to the quantity of water which is stored in the root zone that is known as the efficiency of the water use and if we want to calculate this value in percentage then it is to be multiplied with 100 the last type of efficiency that is known as the 
efficiency of water distribution or uniformity coefficient now this water distribution efficiency means when we look at the crop so we will be doing let's say irrigation at this point after some time then after some time so that means there will be certain frequency of the irrigation so this efficiency of water distribution means at each time whenever you are performing the irrigation activity there will be certain depth up to which the water will be stored let's say this d1 to d5 that is representing the depth of the storage so what we will do we will calculate the average value so if we use the capital d which is representing the average depth of storage therefore this d will be the average of these five values if we have performed this irrigation for a particular crop for five times then this will be the average depth of the storage and if let's say the difference of each of the value that means this d1 minus capital d then y2 will be d2 minus d similarly on these lines we will calculate the deviation for each of the watering so that will represent the deviation from the mean value so in that case this uniformity coefficient or the efficiency of water distribution that is represented by eta d that is given by the relation that is is equal to 1 minus y upon d and if you want to calculate this value into percentage then it is to be multiplied with 100 and that will give us the efficiency of the water distribution now the purpose to find out this efficiency is to represent the extent to which the water has been distributed or has penetrated to a uniform depth throughout the field that is the purpose of finding out this efficiency so that completes all type of efficiency in the next video we will solve some numericals based upon these efficiency formulae thank you